we've made significant progress <coughs> from the debacle that was left by President Trump in, in, his, in his last term. This guy is, has increased your taxes because of the deficit, number one. He's increased inflation because of the debacle he left after the way he handled the pandemic. Like so many politicians, this man is just a complainer. He said, we want to do this, we want to do that, we want to get rid of this tax, that tax. But he doesn't do anything. We have the Palestinians and we have everybody else rioting all over the place. You talk about Charlottesville. This is a hundred times Charlottesville, a thousand times Charlottesville. The whole country is exploding because of you, because they don't respect you, and they have to respect their president, and they don't respect you throughout the world. Thank you. Hello, Virginia. Did anybody last night watch a thing called the debate? Man, that was a big one. But as you saw on television last night, we had a big victory against a man that really is looking to destroy our country. He's the worst. He's the most corrupt, the most incompetent president in the history of our country. And we have to take it back from that party. That's an evil party, despite the fact that crooked Joe Biden spent the entire week at Camp David resting, working, studying. He studied very hard. He studied so hard that he didn't know what the hell he was doing. Joe Biden's problem is not his age. It's not his anything, really. It's he's got no problem other than it's his competence. He's grossly incompetent. You know, they keep saying old. I know people that are much older than him that are doing unbelievable things, making a fortune. I knew a man that at 79, he was never a success, and he made a billion, billion and a half dollars from 79 to 92. And that's what it is. It's not his age. It's his competence. The question every voter should be asking themselves today is not whether Joe Biden can survive a 90-minute debate performance, but whether America can survive four more years of crooked Joe Biden in the White House. In fact, I don't know if we can really survive five more months. This is the most dangerous time in the history of our country, in my opinion. Many people are saying that after last night's performance that Joe Biden is leaving the race. But the fact is, I don't really believe that because he does better in polls than any of the Democrats they're talking about. You've seen that, Glenn. These polls come out with some of the names they're being, like Gavin Newsom. He can't run California. He's one of the worst governors. No, he's a bad governor. He can't run, uh, he can't run California. People are leaving one of the most beautiful places on Earth. In terms of weather, in terms of everything else, you can't do any better than California. He's doing a terrible job. But he gets up and he says, oh, California's doing great, pa 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 like a machine gun, pa 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 <laughs> But it's doing bad. People are leaving so fast, and he's, he'd be easy. But he, uh, he's got lousy poll numbers. And uh, you take a look at some of the others, then, of course, Kamala is somebody that will be on the scope. Thank you, North Carolina. I'm getting in trouble with my mom looking down in heaven if I don't say, please excuse my back. I apologize. <laughs> It's good knowing you have my back. I know I'm not a young man. State the obvious. I don't walk as easy as I used to. I don't speak as smoothly as I used to. I don't deba debate as well as I used to. But I know what I do know. I know how to tell the truth. <laughs> I know. I know. I know right from wrong. <laughs> and I know how to do this job. I know how to get things done. And I know, like millions of Americans know, when you get knocked down, you get back up. The choice in this election is simple. Donald Trump will destroy our democracy. I will defend it. So, folks, 
Are you with me? Last night, President Joe Biden and Donald Trump had their first debate. And earlier today, the President said himself it was not his best performance. But there are three things that were true yesterday before the debate that are still true today. First, the stakes of this race could not be higher. Second, the contrast in this election could not be more stark. And third, we believe in our President Joe Biden and we believe in what he stands for.